Welcome back. What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to our let's play of Dark Souls Perpetual Edition. We are on part four now. And last time I said I was gonna do a bit of grinding off camera. As you can see I have. That was about ten minutes ago. And I didn't get what I wanted unfortunately. I used quite a lot of homeward burns doing it. Just because I wanted to cut out the travelling time of me running backwards and forwards all the time. But I didn't get what I wanted. Instead, got another hollow soldier shield and some boulder leggings. Which I don't think I'll be wearing. Again, I'd like to see the boulder armour if it was fully repaired, but in its broken form it's just not very pleasant. Let's put on our boots. So we actually have trousers on instead. So I think we're just going to buy a shield from Andre. And then we'll just again we'll just buy a shield from him. One of the either the Caduceus or well, the uh, or the Knight Shield. Let's have a look. The Tower Cat Shield or the Cadu or Caduceus or Cadicus. It's your choice. We'll buy the Knight Shield. Also, while we're here, we'll buy a repair box, armor box, and weapons box. Crest of Artorius. We'll be getting this later. This crest opens the door in the Dark Root Garden, sealed by ancient magic. This door leads to the grave of Sir Artorius the Abysswalker. Many adventurers have left for the grave, but none have returned. For they make easy prey for local bandits. With such danger, the crest can can do more harm than good in the hands of the un, of the uninitiated. So yes, Go get you, sir. there's that. Now, what did I say last time? I believe we're going to head to the basement now. No, no, we're not, we're not. We're going to go to the dead garden. Almost forgot. We're going to head to the garden instead. In fact, let's put on our new shield. It's a little bit heavier. And we can still roll with it. Yeah, it's alright looking. Starting equipment of the night. Let's see if we can't well, upgrade it a little bit. Uh, reinforce. Nope. Let's see if we can't buy some shards. We'll buy three. And it's under weapons, isn't it? Modifying will come later. So we won't put any into that, we'll put where is it? two into the kite shield. That increases the stability of it. And we'll put one more into our weapon. Because we'll be fighting some pretty tough enemies oh, in the uh, garden. Neither. First enemy we come across is this guy. A de Titanite demon. We won't be fighting him. I think we're just going to run away. Well, hopefully he won't catch us. Ooh, can hear him swinging his weapon. But yeah, we'll run away from him. And now we shall deal with the plant men. A few things I haven't talked about yet, and I probably should have, is in the stats we see all of our uh, things at the side, and in the middle, and at the left. That's why right. Hang on. Woo, tree man. I heard him coming then. Didn't respond in time. That's him dealt with. But let's have a look. Let's go through these. So, um, so you know what this actually means. That's our name, the Cat Bob. Mistake on my behalf. Covenant, way of white. There are nine different covenants, and each one gives their own special thing. Uh, way of the white grants us access to miracles such as the healing and the wraths of God and things like that. There's a few others like the Doth, the um, Chaos Covenant, which lets us have more pyromancies or a special type of pyromancy. There's, uh, what else is there? I'm actually forgetting them. There's the Dragon Covenant, which lets us become a dragon. It's not as cool as it sounds. And probably one of the most unused covenants. There's the, uh, there's the Dark Moons, which hunt sinners, or uh, people who uh, invade other people. There's the, oh, I keep forgetting them. There's the coven which use the red eye orbs which uh, invade other people. We could do that if we wanted, but probably not going to. At least anytime soon. There's also the the uh, Princess Guard. Don't know much about them. The Warriors of Sunlight, who we met Solaire, who gets some special uh, lightning bolts which Solaire used against the gargoyles. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's all of them. So yeah, they each grant their own things and things like that. Then we have our level, that obviously level up, that goes up. Uh, 
level depends on what level you can be invaded by. So you can be invaded or you can summon people within five levels of yourself. I think that's how it works. Vi um, souls, souls in our possession. Vital vitality. That upgrades our HP. It stops at about 40 or 50, or we get diminishing returns at that point. Attunement, attunement slots, we can see them over here. Uh, the more of that we have, the more attunement slots we have. You can get up to maybe 10, 20 attunement slots, I think. Not sure. Endurance, how much we can equip. So here we have our equip load. If it's under half, we get the medium roll. If it's a three quarters, then we get a fat roll. Or if it's above half, I should say, we get a fat roll. And if it's under 25%, uh, so if it was under, let's well, say we have 60, so if it was under 15, then we'd have a quick roll. Uh, strength, uh, how it can, that's to do with the weapons you can equip. So our weapons have strength requirements. The Claymore has 16, and we have 18, so we can use it. Also, boost weapon attack if they have scaling. Dexterity, same thing. Resistances, boost resistances. Not much else to be said. Don't think anyone puts any points into this ever. Intelligence, sorceries, boosts intelligence so you can use sorceries, the amount of damage they do and all that stuff. Same with faith, and then humanity. Over here we have our stamina, stamina determined by our endurance, our also regeneration depending on our the equip load, uh, damage from our weapons, physical defense from all the different things, defense from the flame, from fire, magic, and lightning. Poise how likely we are to get staggered if we get hit. So if an enemy hits us, we have a high chance of being staggered so we can't follow up our attack. However, if they hit us and we don't stagger, then we can just follow through with our attack. The bleed resistance, how long it takes to bleed, how long it takes to be poisoned, how much our curse resistance is. Uh, item discovery. This is determined by our humanity and the if we have a ring or not. So the humanity it goes, I don't exactly know how it goes, but we start off with 100, we get 50 from the first one, uh, maybe 10 from the next one, and 5 then on, yeah something like that, until 10 and that point it doesn't go up any higher. Or we can get the gold covetous uh, serpent ring, which gives us a another 150 item discovery. So yeah, there's that, all that's done now, and if we look at our items, I also got a rapier. Uh, we can see the scaling there in the bottom and our requirements. It's got C scaling. So as you can see next to physical we've got a plus 37. That's because of our dexterity and our strength. Obviously higher the scaling, higher the damage added. So yeah, now that we've got all that through. We've wasted 8 minutes on that. Let's just actually start progressing. More trees to fight. These guys are actually quite useful to farm because they drop special herbs. So far we're getting quite unlucky, we haven't got any. Usually they drop quite uh, rarely. Don't jump off there, you die. Yeah, you die if you jump off there. You, we will go down past that canopy later on. That's the wolf ring up there. We will probably want to get that as well. There we can see a tree in the ground. Let's get him up. Oh god, didn't see him. Okay, let's try not to die. That'd be a good start. Hey, he dropped something. Let's see what he dropped. Ooh, the rare one. There are three different types of moss you can get. The purple, the blood red, and the blooming purple. Blooming purple gets rid of toxic, which is a really vicious effect that kills you quite quickly. Purple gets rid of... Oh, two blooming purples. But yeah, purple gets rid of poison, and red gets rid of bleed. So there, nice things to know about. Generally you want poison and blooming because they're the most useful. Uh, you don't usually get uh, bleed unless someone's going after you with a weapon that does bleed. No, I'm not going to jump off the edge. End of the player. This is where we need the Crystal Artorius. Won't be going there for a while. And here we have a fake wall. Leads to a bonfire. Praise the sun, indeed. Let's light this bonfire and rest it. We don't have to rest at it actually. Let's not. Let's continue onwards. That way we can use a homeward burn and get back on track quite quickly. So as we come down here, go to a fog gate and an item. The item is a trap, in case anyone's wondering. You can see the uh, tree men all around it. 
Alright, oh, I was going to say they don't jump up, but apparently they do. If you pick up that item, they uh, ambush you. Let's see if we can hit him. There we go. A bit delayed there on the hits. And we'll grab this last one and just let him spawn on his own. There we go. They're not dropping much, which is surprising. But then again, we do have two blooming purple moss, so we can hardly complain. Now, let's enter through the fog gate. And we come across... Nothing. That there is a fake tree, by the way. We'll kill it later. But we do see there is a pair of legs there and a shield. That's a stone guardian. These guys are quite dangerous early on. You can actually get their armor set and their weapon and shield, which is quite nice. Uh, from a chest. You have to get the weapon from a drop, which is really annoying and hard to get. It also requires magic. I got that weapon. It took a long time farming to get the weapon and shield. They don't have much health though, they've got about 200. Give 600 souls as well. Quite easy to fight, but it's your choice if you fight them or not. Also, there are a few of them guarding the elite knight set, which we will go and get. There's the purple moss. We will get that eventually. Probably on, actually. No, I think we'll have to get that now. Now here, we see a bunch of... Uh, it's an item, isn't it? Those look like vines. They are not. That is a monster. It is lying. Now it's moving now. And it's dead. Look at the partisan. It's a spear. Let's read the description on it. Sp spear with a blade attached to the broad point. Boost, bursts at long reach and can slice. So you can stab or you can cut. We'll stick with our claymore. So let's deal with all the enemies that are going to be in our way first. There is another one of those snake creatures there. You can see it on that tree. And there's no need to go over there though, as far as I can tell. Oh yes there is, to avoid this guy. But, I've got no hassle with fighting these guys. I, have lo I had lots of practice at it. And again, they only have 200 HP. And if you can get them to cast their spell, then they're really easy to deal with. There we go. That spell, I think it's called Gravity. Or something like Tranquil Walk of Peace maybe, if that's what Tranquil Walker of Peace does. It essentially slows you down so you can't roll and you can't move very quickly. It's a really annoying spell to deal with, but if you kill them before they set it off then you're fine. Another stone golem here, or guardian, I think the guardians. Let's see how many we can get off in. Ooh dear, just three. Ooh, we broke our guard. Get it up. Ooh, another broken guard. Thankfully they don't attack very quickly, so can just slowly walk around him and deal with him that way. Still doesn't mean I shouldn't be careful of him. Ooh. Oh, there we go. It's one off. That's him dealt with. Let's try and get the the uh, the elite knight set. Again, another ambush. Let's deal with the weaker ones first. They're the ones which are going to be the most problematic. Oh, it looks like some of them are getting up. Let's deal with him before he becomes a problem. He's casting it right away. Looks like it's going to be a pain to deal with this one. Come on, swap back to the shield. There we go. We should be fine now. Just wait for it to wear off. Also, if you get further away from him, the spell tends to wear off. Or it doesn't affect you anymore. See? The closer he gets, the more the ring appears. Looks to have worn off though. Let's go back to attacking him. There we go. Now he's dealt with. And let's go up there, grab the item and the armor. Item is blooded moss. In fact, let's just fight him. Why not? Probably a big mistake fighting them with the uh, tree men around. 
but generally the tree men can walk through the forest better than the guardian can. But they do have a long reach, so we have to be quite careful. Ooh! Ouch! Okay, let's not do that again. <laughs> I felt that was going to end badly. Didn't think he'd hit me though. Looks like I underestimated the hitbox on that guy. Let's use another humanity. Because there's a summon I want to get for the Moonlight Butterfly, which is the boss we're going to be fighting in case anyone was wondering why I was heading down there. Damn it! I knew this would happen. I saw it coming. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back. Uh, something bad just happened. I died and lost all my souls and all my humanity. So now I'm upset. So I lost five humanity and about, what was that, 10,000 souls? Annoying and saddening, but such is the way of things. Stupid plants. Not killed by trees this time. Let's reverse again and hopefully not uh, suffer problems this time. Phew, okay then. Let's quickly make our way back, and this time we will rest at that bonfire. Because obviously karma is, uh, well not karma, the game is currently trolling me. Because it says if you're not going to rest there, I'm going to kill you. I never remember the trees being that tough. Perhaps it's because I'm playing with DS Fix and it's been a long time since I've played. Or maybe I'm just really, really rusty. And I'm used to killing things in one shot. Either way, we'll hurry up and deal with them. And we won't die horribly this time. Maybe it's also because I used to wear the knight gear rather than the warrior. I generally choose knight as my starting class. Here, by the way, we could head that way if we wanted and head down into the dark fruit basin. We will go there eventually, but not for a while. Let's quickly make our way back. I don't want to have you guys sitting through uh, my failure and me having to backtrack. See, we can't do more damage to this guy. That's not what I wanted to do. Stop doing that game. Why are you stood up? You are never stood up. The yes, S-Fix is causing some weird stuff to happen. Because that tree is never usually stood up, but I'm getting beaten up by them. Mm. It's definitely my armour. I'm not making excuses, well, I suppose I am, but I'm generally used to wearing heavier armour, which is more upgraded, so generally they can barely scratch me. Yeah, usually that tree man is asleep here somewhere, didn't pick this up on the first way through. Yeah, he's usually sleeping around here, which is surprising that he's awake. Again, I'm thinking the S-Fix is causing that. But this time, we're going to rest at this bonfire. And run away and just run. We're going to run to the armor, pick it up, and then we're going to run to the boss and hopefully some uh, have our summon on the way. If we can afford, if we can afford that luxury. Yeah, I got killed here. Those trees in there. Trees are really difficult to deal with because of their stupidly long-ranged attack. Because I've got a few of them, as you can probably tell. Okay, this went much better than last time. As you saw then, I had died there. So, let's just try and get the Elite Knight armor this time. And not fail miserably. We'll still have to deal with this guy, but he's not a big issue. As we've seen, he's kind of easy. I suppose these guys are easy on their own. I'm surprised that other one got me through the tree as well. That surprised me a lot. Let's see if we can't deal Oh, got him staggered. Oh dear. That hurts. Oh god, come on. Thank god he didn't do his triple attack. There we go. I am failing quite hard in this part. That is disappointing on my half. Let's take it from a different side this time. More purple moss. Useful for when we go to Blight Town. It's him dealt with. He's standing up, so let's run in, grab the armor, and run away. There we go. Elite Night Gear gotten. We'll run away now. Those guardians, I think they're called, or golems, are really quick. 
They've got a really quick charge attack, so be very careful when dealing with them. See, this one here can really catch you. Oh, he's doing his thing again. Again, they stagger quite easily, though. Damn it, he won't switch back to his shield. Come on, switch back. Block. Thank you. He only has a three attack, so he doesn't have a fourth. Doesn't mean he doesn't hurt. There we go. I'd rather not repeat grinding them like I did for my stone knight build. That was a dark time. Anyway, let's actually start making progress now rather than just meandering around and getting beaten up by trees. Take another swig. But yes, as I mentioned, we're going to be dealing with the Moonlight Butterfly. We're going to have to kill this guy, aren't we? I want to summon Beatrice to this fight. That's why I'm going through all this hassle. Aside from the hassle of getting the night gear, obviously. Apparently four attacks with the Claymore will stagger him. So that's always nice to know. I don't really want to try and rolling to show you what. Uh, gravity does. This rolling will severely cripple me. There we go. Ah, oh, we're running low on Esther's flasks. Well, we just have to not be hit when we fight Moonlight Butterfly. Moonlight Butterfly does magic damage, which is why I don't want to be hit. Oh dear. Okay, it looks like we're using that flask sooner than I wanted to. I am being really sloppy. It is ridiculous. He thought he could get us. Let's oop. Bait him a little bit. There we go. Whew. Finally. So far we've had twenty minutes of getting beaten up. But here is the summoning sign for Witch Beatrice. Or Beatrice the Wicks. The Wicks? The Witch. Wow, I need another drink. Here we are. And by the way, when I say drink, I don't mean alcohol, I mean water. But yes, she will hopefully help out with the Moonlight Butterfly. Generally, you can do the Moonlight Butterfly on your own without much trouble. But it's nice to have some help. Let's keep on the Esther's Flask. We've got none, but might as well. And we can see it up there. Now all we have to do is make sure we're not hit. And that's the hard part because it has a bunch of really annoying attacks. Go on Beatrice, do your thing. And don't stand in my way, please. Gotta like the music. And I said gotta, not got. Not god I. Ooh dear, that's what you don't want to be hit by. Damn! Okay, that's terrible. I apologize for my play. I am atrocious at this point, and I'm infuriated with myself. My god. I am so annoyed right now. This is the most I've ever failed at Dark Souls. I'm gonna burn two humanities doing this, because I'm just don't want to deal with this again. Let's kindle this bonfire. I'm getting so stressed at this, and I shouldn't be. It's my own fault for failing so hard, but we've got about five minutes, so looks like we're going to be running. Let's kindle as well, get ten Estus flasks. I don't usually kindle bonfires, but might as well. So let's run now. No more dawdling, getting beaten up by trees or golems or the butterfly. We're just going to go and deal with it. We've gotten what we needed or we wanted. Hey, it's summon sign. It's someone using the Astara Straight Sword and the Grass Crest Shield. The Astara, sh the Astara Straight Sword is the sword uh, Oswald was using, and it's also a sword we can pick up from uh, the shortcut through um, the Valley of the Drakes. It's a quite a nice weapon early on, but it's terrible late game. I tried to do a build again with it, didn't work out well. I failed miserably because I couldn't beat Ornstein and Smur. Again, more bosses will be coming across later on. And hopefully, 
my skills won't, will have sharpened up again by that point, so I won't fail miserably. But one can only hope. We'll just have to see. I'm hoping that we can deal with this guy and get back on track. Five minutes to beat the butterfly? Entirely possible. But butterfly usually you beat it quite easily. There's a tree man following me. I thought you stopped following me. Just die, please. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Feeling a little less stressed now. We've gotten back to this point, it took us a minute. So let's get back up there and deal with the butterfly once and for all. Again, my play was just sloppy today. I said today, I've literally recorded parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, I don't know. Maybe I've gotten tired. Don't stand in my way Beatrice, please. Thank you. Got enough problems as it is. Okay then. Go on, do your thing. Don't block. There's no point. Just cast spells. Oh, the butterfly dodged. That's great soul arrow. Great soul arrow again. Great soul arrow. Does a nice chunk of damage. I wanted to dodge that first time. Okay, here we go. Put on lightning climb resin. Don't want to be near that when that goes off. See? Looks like I'm not as upgraded as I should have been. So yeah, as you can clearly see, I'm not doing as much damage as I'd like. I think it's because I'm just not upgraded enough. Ow. Let's hope it doesn't do its beam attack. Beatrice, please hit. Thank you. Oh dear. Didn't roll through it. I was hoping to. Okay, it's dead now. Thank you, Beatrice. You made that fight much easier. Soul of a Moonlight Butterfly. We can use that to forge boss weapons and our items. The weapon we can forge is the Horn of the Moonlight Butterfly, which is a magic based spear. It does magic damage, pure magic damage, and scales with magic, or int, or intelligence. And the shield we use the Crystal Ring Shield, which is an amazing shield that does double your sword's attack, your one handed attack, so it's quite nice. And here we have a blacksmith. Looks frighteningly similar to Andre and he has watch to our basement key and a divine ember and a homeward burn so let's head back now that we've got all that done with and we'll return to <sighs> and we'll return to uh, Os not Oscar um, I Andre that was it I almost forgot I did actually let's level up a bit more and then we'll check out that armour actually because we haven't checked it out yet. So the ammo we picked up. The Elite Knight. Hang on, do we have a tree? I thought I heard a tree. But yes, we have the Elite Knight armor now. It's obviously much better. A lot heavier though. Same with pretty much everything. We can wear the gloves. They're quite light. The boots? Um, I don't think so. Actually, I think we can. As long as we don't go above 29.5 we can wear any armor yeah so we're wearing the gloves now and the boots the boots look quite nice oh yeah we have some more poise now, better armor we died a lot, lost a bunch of souls and humanity we've got, we've done everything in this part we even got a boss soul I'm sure that guy's in the ground I've, I'm remembering it wrong or he is usually in the ground. Because I'm pretty sure when you walk into there, it's an ambush. Anyway, let's see if we can't get back to the bonfire before we have to end this part. We've got in so much blooming purple moss. I suppose it's to make up for the fact that we didn't get the boulder side shield or sword. Oh well. Hey, you see how he hit us then? and we didn't get staggered 
that's because we have poise and the poise did that and we have 10 seconds we should make it back even if we have to go over just a little bit so I hope you guys have enjoyed these first four parts I shall be uploading part one tonight and releasing it tomorrow not Sunday in case anyone's wondering Sunday the, Sunday the 10th I think the 9th even so hope you guys are enjoying if you are leave a like don't forget to comment if you want to leave a comment uh, feel free to subscribe as well if you want to see more and I will see you all next time uh, see you all next time <laughs>